Hello. How's it going people? Coach Javi here and we finally hit 20,000 on YouTube and I'm joined by the one, the only legend, Stina and I uh, figured she could help me out do the Q&A. So she's got all the questions, I'm gonna do my best to answer them and um, yeah, let's get the show on the road. What made you want to start YouTube? I always thought I could do the YouTube thing, like I'd always watch people like vlogging and stuff and I always thought I could do it. I just never had anything to do it for or a reason to do it. Figured I'd do a lot of individual sessions, so might as well record them and show them to the world. Are you gonna continue the Train Yourself series? The reason I haven't done a Train Yourself video in a while is because I ran out of topics. So you, I can only do so many Train Yourself topics where it's just you and you can't have any defenders or you can't have anybody helping you out. So I might, I might restart it later, but for now I think we're not going to be doing any more train yourself for the moment. Do you enjoy what you do? Do I enjoy what I do? Um, I think so because if I didn't, Stina would not have to tell me to get a life every other day. Yeah, every every single day that I wake up, I'm like already looking forward to getting into the office, getting all my things ready for the day, planning my sessions, um, and then by the time I get home, I'm already starting to think about the next day and stuff. So. I never take it for granted, but yes, I absolutely love what I do every single minute of every single day. How come the green arrow and you have <laughs> never been seen together in the same place at the same time? I don't know. Maybe it's because I am the green arrow. <laughs> <laughs> what position did you play? Naturally, I was a winger and towards the last two years of college, I played uh, I played up top, and that was just because of our style. Usually I played down the wing because I was pretty quick. What's your best advice for young players? Ooh. Best advice for young players. Be realistic with your goals and take it one step at a time. A lot of people always ask me what they can do to go pro, and the reality is it's very, very difficult to do it. People think that it's easy to get from here to here in like one day so just take it one step at a time and be realistic with your goals what's your favorite premium what come is on, your mate. favorite premium league come team? on mate Liverpool if you guys don't know the, the answer to this question already you guys have not been <laughs> following along the channel my favorite team in the Premier League is what was your most memorable college goal ever ooh that's a good question these are all good questions. There's two goals that were my, my most memorable in college. The first one was my very first goal that I scored. It was my freshman year. It was like five games in. I hadn't scored. The game was in Chicago, so all my family members could go. And that was like the only game of my college career that all my family members, all my friends could go to. We were tied 1-1 and 83rd or 84th minute, somewhere around there, um, I scored a goal. And it was the game winner, and it was in front of all my friends, all my family who were on the sidelines. And I'll put the video of that goal, because I have it. 
If you watch how excited like my dad is, my dad's like on the sideline just ready to go in and start celebrating with me. You could tell he was like trying to hold himself back. Um, but that was one of my most memorable goals. The second one, probably the most memorable goal was opening round of national tournament. We were down by one. Um, it was absolutely freezing. It was probably like 13 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. It's got to be like negative 300 in Celsius. There was 45 seconds left and um, one of my friends scored the, the goal to tie to send us into overtime with 45 seconds left on the clock. And in overtime, golden goal. I'll, I'll show you the goal, but it was the golden goal to help us get to the Sweet 16 of the national tournament. What do you think you'll be doing in 20 years? What will I be doing in 20 years? I'll have my own Division I soccer program, whether it's men or women. I'll be coaching my own program. If you would have asked me this a year ago, my answer would have been different. But now, I'll be running a lot of camps around the country, um, coach hobby camps, and, um, and yeah, and just still doing the exact same thing that I'm doing right now, basically. Will practice every day make me better? Will practice every day make you better? Yes. <laughs> Why did you retire from playing? Why did I retire from playing? Dang, here comes a long story right here. I've, I've, everybody asks me this. is like, why did you retire? Why did you start playing Sunday League? And why, if you're, if you're still so young, why didn't you pursue the dream? Well, um, the reality is I realized that I loved coaching more than I loved playing. Like playing for me, going through the season, all the things that encompassed playing soccer didn't give me the same feeling as when I was out there coaching and directing players and guiding players and um, when I was being able to coach the big picture. I guess simple answer would be my passion for coaching outgrew my passion for playing. Simple enough. What is your personal favorite cleat? The best cleat I remember wearing were the T90 lasers. T90 lasers, those were classics. Like the first ones that came out had the black thing that was like the newest technology ever invented. Those were my favorite, those were classics. Would you ever do training sessions with sub subscribers? Yes, I have and yes, but it would be in the form of soccer camps for the most part. Are you down to do a col collab? Am I down to do a collab? Oh yes. Collab with Matt Sheldon? Um, I do follow along with his channel. I like the guy, he's a good guy. So if I ever could do a collab with him, I probably would. I'm in the middle of coaching, he's in the middle of playing and all that. I'm not sure if it would work out right now, but yes, Matt Sheldon is, uh, I, like the guy's, uh, I like the guy's stuff. Would you ever let someone learn about your philosophy in soccer? My coaching philosophy. My coaching philosophy is based around a few things. One, every soccer player can learn and get better. No matter how bad you are, everyone has the potential to develop. And two, my philosophy is based around my players. So coaching is a job in which it has to be completely selfless. So whatever I'm doing, as long as it's helping whoever I'm supposed to be helping in the way that they need help, I'm doing my job. So it's not about me, but it's about the players. So I think once you, as a coach, once you realize that, that your job is literally to make good soccer players and good people and help them out in any way that they need help, I think you'll do your job well. I mean, I can go into detail about my coaching philosophy, but I think those are the basics. Those are the basics of what, it's, what it revolves around, basically. Um, I've been doing some research and it seems like most colleges, colleges are looking for a master's degree. Is that something that you have and what are your thoughts on that? It is highly recommended for most college jobs that you have a master's degree um, or that you pursue it while you're there. So for me, I am doing my master's degree right now. I have my bachelor's in physical education and health and I'm pursuing my master's in sports pedagogy, which is just a fancy word for like sports education. Um, so I'm doing that now and I should have that completed by the end of spring. What advice do you have for a youth coach trying to make it bigger? One is just get as many licenses and certificates that you can get because that always looks good on a resume and it's really good education. 
attend the convention, if you can attend the convention, the coaches convention, and volunteer or join and coach as many teams as you possibly can. All different age groups. Go out and get as much coaching experience as you possibly can because it'll show you how to coach at different levels and it'll look really, really good on a resume. Can you explain your whole playing career from youth to professional? Um, okay, so I, I should have some clips that I can insert while I'm talking. Um, I started playing in a club when I was eight years old. It was like our local club team. It was really inexpensive compared to all the other clubs that were around. And at that time, my family couldn't pay thousands of dollars to play on a big club team. So we settled for that. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I played on that club team. It was the Mundelein Strikers. Played on that club team from U9 until I got into high school. When I got into high school, believe it or not, Coach Javi played three years as a goalie, as a goalkeeper. Freshman year to junior year, I played as a goalkeeper. Junior year, I realized I didn't want to play goalkeeper anymore and I had no idea why I was playing goalkeeper in the first place. So I played forward, um, played forward my senior year and then I got scouted and recruited to play in college. My senior year, I went to Ashford University, which was a small NAIA school in Iowa. Um, I played there my four years. I played semi-pro, which I played for the Quad City Eagles for two seasons. Um, and then I played for Detroit City FC. So I know a few of you guys have commented that you know where Detroit City FC is and you guys have seen the team and stuff. Played there for two seasons. And then it was after that that I decided to retire. But, but yeah, I mean, I think that's it, right? Sweet. So I hope you guys liked the Q&A. I wanted to give you guys some more background information on me, so I hope I answered a lot of the questions that you guys have had. And I want to do another Q&A, but instead of it being about me or the coaching lifestyle, I wanted to do the playing lifestyle and from a player's perspective. So figured Stina could do a Q&A soon. She's from Norway, so she came to play in the States from Norway to play in college. So you guys can ask her what the process was like. You guys can ask her basically any questions about being a Division I college soccer player. Um, and we'll do that when we hit, what do you think, Stina? 30. We'll do that when we hit 30,000 subscribers. We just hit 20. So when we get to 30,000 subscribers, we will do a Q&A. Um, I'll read the questions and she can answer them. And yeah, so any questions you guys have about playing, about getting to play in college, about what it's like to be a Division I soccer player, comment those down below on this video. And I'll have Stina answer those when we hit 30,000 subscribers. Fair? All right. Well. Once again, thank you guys, and all right, you want to say bye? Bye. All right, peace, people. See ya. <laughs> Boom.